Hi students, how are you all? This is Shanti. You are watching Maths for You. So the uh, today is the another lecture. So before going to this uh, topic, just I want to revise the previous lectures. What is that? The first is we go into some basics, and next is the formation of PD. After that, some problems on elimination of arbitrary functions. After that, our previous is Lagrange's method. In that Lagrange's method, what we have discussed, what is a Lagrange's equation, and what is the Lagrange's method, and working rule for the Lagrange's method, and some small example problem just to know how we are applying the Lagrange's method. Now, continuation lecture is that in that previous lecture, what I have told you. Lagrange's method is useful to obtain the general solution of the given PDE, right? The Lagrange's, what is just, uh, if anybody asks you, why you use, use the Lagrange's method? That is, it is very appropriate and very exact method to find the general solution for given PDE. But what I am said in the previous lecture, yes, that is Lagrange's method consists of some four types. Particularly uh, for any type, there is no name, or just there are the types. Type means what? If the differential equation or the PD is given in the in the in some form. So after converting into the auxiliary equation, after be, that seeing the auxiliary equation, we have to decide that how we have to solve and what method is used. So using that method by Lagrange's, so we have to decide which type it is. So now in this lecture. Clearly, in this lecture, I am going to discuss the type 1 of Lagrange's method. Don't get confused. Lagrange's method is useful for finding the general solution. Lagrange's method are four types. Okay, we'll, uh, in in Okoka video, in the Okoka lecture, and Okoka type first problems. Now, in this video, just to see here, uh, just I am saying four types of methods based on PP plus QQ is what is this? This is a quasi linear PDE, right? So, what is it? For anything, we have to know past and future. Now, we are in present. So, what is this? You have to know your past. What is that previous? Just don't see one video and don't decide anything. Just go to previous videos also. If you see the Lagrange's method video, then it will clear this video. Okay. Now, see in that video, I have told you that PP plus QP equal to R is a quasi linear PD. For this PD, we consider this equation to be Lagrange's, then we apply the Lagrange's method. So this this equation, this quasi linear PD is a having four types. That is first type one. What is this? Yes, this is what students? This is our auxiliary Lagrange's equation or Lagrange's Lagrange's auxiliary equation right so now for any problem for any type Lagrange's auxiliary equation is common after seeing or after observing the Lagrange's equation now we have to decide which usual method or which method is applied to solve into a solve the Lagrange's auxiliary equation. This is common for everyone. Okay, na? Miro Lagrange's ila quasi linear ichcha ka. We first cheyal chena pani enti. You have to compare what is capital P, what is capital Q, what is capital R. After comparing, you have to write the auxiliary equation in this form. So after writing the auxiliary equation, then you have to consider how the how the fractions or e functions. Okay, na? How this function is there? What you have to do? We have to take these two or these two, these two. That in that sense, that is known as the sum types. Okay, now Allah make clear out. Just once I will read it, read it out for you. See here, this is our uh, required Lagrange's auxiliary equation. So now suppose that one of the variable is either absent or cancel out from any two functions of given equation one then an integral can be obtained by the usual method. The same method can be repeated with the another set of two functions of the given equation. One. See Nana, anything, anything cannot be clear by seeing some uh, theoretical method or the uh, formula. Anything in the mathematics, after reading this, we can be clear by doing some example. But I want to say here something that the word absent and cancel here, it is most, it plays a very important role. What is that? See, 
సపోజ్ దట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద వేరియబుల్ ఈస్ ఐదర్ యాబ్సెంట్ ఆర్ క్యాన్సల్ ఏం చెప్తుందంటే మీకు ఇక్కడ ఇవి వేరియబుల్సే కదా పిక్యూఆర్ ఇక్కడ పిక్యూఆర్ నేను ఆల్రెడీ చెప్పాను లెగ్ రేంజెస్ మెథడ్ లో పిక్యూఆర్ ద ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ కామా వై కామా జెడ్ వేరియబుల్స్ సో ఇక్కడ మీకు ఏమొస్తుంది ఎట్లయినా ఎక్స్ వై సమ్ వై జెడ్ అట్లా వస్తాయి అంటే వేరియబుల్స్ వస్తాయి ఓకేనా సో అబ్జర్వింగ్ దిస్ వేరియబుల్స్ మనం చూడాలి ఆ వేరియబుల్స్ క్యాన్సిల్ అవుతున్నాయా అసలు వేరియబుల్స్ ఉన్నాయా లేవా వేరియబుల్స్ లేకుండా కాన్స్టాంట్ కూడా ఉండొచ్చు వి సీ సమ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ నెక్స్ట్ వీడియో విల్ సీ సమ్ మోర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ దెన్ ఇట్ విల్ బి క్లియర్ బట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దిస్ థింగ్ ఫర్ దాట్ ఓకేనా సో మీకు వేరియబుల్ అంటే ఇగో ఇక్కడ ఇవి వేరియబుల్స్ వేరియబుల్స్ అంటే దీస్ త్రీ థింగ్స్ నాట్ ఐఎమ్ సింగ్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద వేరియబుల్స్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ కామా వై కామా జెడ్ సో ఇక్కడ మీకు ఏమొస్తుంది వేరియబుల్స్ వస్తాయి సో ఆ వేరియబుల్స్ మీకు యాబ్సెంట్ ఆర్ క్యాన్సల్ అవుతాయి దెన్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఈ రెండు వర్డ్స్ మీరు చాలా గుర్తుకు పెట్టుకోవాలి అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ టూ ఫంక్షన్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ అక్సలర్ ఈక్వేషన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు కన్సిడర్ దీస్ టూ ఫంక్షన్స్ అవుట్ దీస్ టూ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఆ టూ ఫంక్షన్స్ లో కించి మీకు ఏమవుతుంది ఈ వేరియబుల్ క్యాన్సిల్ అవుతుంది యాబ్సెంట్ అవుతుందా అని చెప్తుంది ఇక్కడ దాకా పాయింట్ సో నెక్స్ట్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ కెన్ బి ఆప్టెయిన్ బై ద యూజువల్ మెథడ్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఆఫ్టర్ టేకింగ్ టూ ఫంక్షన్స్ ఇట్ మే బి క్యాన్సల్ ఆర్ సమ్ వేరియబుల్స్ మే బి యాబ్సెంట్ సో అలా చేసిన తర్వాత వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ఇంటిగ్రల్ మే బి ఆప్టెయిన్ అంటే మీరు ఏం చేయాలి అలా వచ్చిన తర్వాత యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ బై యూజింగ్ యూజువల్ మెథడ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ యూజువల్ మెథడ్ doing integration that's it the same method can be obtained for next two fractions for one equation and two equation maybe you got the doubt madam why why you are doing two equations to in the lagrange's method i told you that this is a quasi linear then with the general solution will be pi of u comma v is equals to 0 u v are two independent solution so by obtaining this by or writing this uh, lagrange's auxiliary equation we have to get this solution this general solution which consists of two independent solutions right and we range all two fractions this one up to okay that's the inko two fractions this one up to be awesome and dainty you're getting one independent solution by taking one two fractions you're getting on another independent solution by getting these two fractions right so that way i'm saying same method is also obtained with the another set of two functions bam the set of two function you have to take these two functions and you have to apply some um, cancellations or absent then you have to do integration and you have to take another two not these two you can took these two also or these two also any two but you have to take two 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 fractions only or functions so another two fractions then you have to do same procedure cancellation or you have to do integration then you get another solution so this is the theoretical explanation in here we'll see small example then it will be clear for you right now we'll see the example this is the example let us uh, take some example see here now what uh, students what is here this is our what quasi linear pd just write down for clarification p into b q into q is equals to r capital p capital q capital r are the functions of x comma y comma z so this is our required pde that is quasi linear pde what is the first step yes you have to write down in this form and you have to compare what is pqr so now write down what is capital p here yz what is capital q here zx what is capital r here xy next what you have to write yes you have to write the lagrange's auxiliary equation what is that lagrange's auxiliary equation what is that dx by capital p is equals to dy by capital q is equals to dz by capital r now already you have compared the values here just a substitute what is what dx by p yz is equals to nana you should not forgot next dy by what is capital q zx next dz by xy so this is our required like uh, lagrange's auxiliary equation afterwards what i said some theory what is that you have to take any two fractions after taking two fractions you have to see whether the variables are absent or they are getting cancelled so now this is the equation you have to take these two fractions you can take these two fractions you can take these two fractions any two fractions okay now never mind what is it is okay now so now i want to take these two fractions or functions take dx by yz is equals to dy by zx is equals to this is now see what is getting cancelled here yes students what is that 
ZZ is getting cancelled. I said the word that is absent and cancel. Here the cancel word it is using now. Yes. Now write the remaining part. DX by Y is equals to DY by X. Already you study in your degree or BSc standard levels. By seeing this, you know, yes, what is that method? Variable separation. So just to cross multiply the values. X into DX is equals to Y into dy now what you have to do the usual method what is that integration right integration integration of x dx is equal to integration of y dy plus some integral constant now integration of x x square by 2 integration of y y square by 2 plus c1 so take y square this side x square minus y square equal to c1 yes what i have taken here 2 will be there 2 go that side now let us take so 2 c1 is all co c1 r c1 is a constant so this is one word this is one of our independent solution by taking these two fractions e two fractions this cancellation the cancellation jarin tarata idi manam rasnam so, you can use some variable separable method. Laga. X terms, Y terms, what is the usual method? Integration. Jaisam. Integration. Jaisa ka, mana X square, any terms, variable, ka dagar, bethi, constants. And ka, as, now, constant is no, simple. Ga, C1. Identi mana u on Therefore, u is equal to x square minus y square. You can put u or you can also consider C1. So, next, what you have to do? Yes. Next, you can take these two fractions or you can take these two fractions. So, see here what happens. If you take second and third fraction, right? What is this? These both. dy by dy by zx is equals to dz by xy. What cancels here? xx, again do cross multiplication. y dy equal to z dz. So, next what you have to do? integration integration y square by 2 is equals to z square by 2 plus c2 then your answer is y square y square it was z square is equals to c2 2 c2 is equals to you can take the constant value c2 so this is another v let us take this is v if you take two fractions one independent solution another two fractions another so therefore the general solution pi of u comma v is equals to zero in the place of you have to write this in the place of it you can write this this is our what is this general solution of our given pde so here just i am saying just a simple example how to solve the Lagrange's equation by using type 1. So, this is the video first just explanation explaining the type 1 in the next previous next video will some do some example more problems on this then it will be more clear for you. Okay, na? thank you for watching.